All right, guys, so the next type of weaving that we're gonna be doing is called the basket weave. This is another pretty easy one, especially for people that struggle a little bit with art. As you can tell from the diagram, we go two over, two under, two over, two under, two over, two under, two over, two under, and then we repeat, and it ends up looking like a, you guessed it, a basket. So I already have my uh, traditional knot here, and what's interest, or what is, is important is you have to make sure that you continue weaving where you end it. So if I went back here and wove, it wouldn't be in the same direction as the way that I was weaving. So it's important that if I end it here, I need to begin here. So what I need to do is just like we did, if you guys remember in this bottom corner down here, is I need to make sure, let me zoom this out, is I need to make sure that I put a nice little knot over here to um, anchor my string. So I already have my string knotted onto my needle. So what I'm gonna do is right here, and being again gentle, you don't wanna pull or warp your string at all. I'm going to tie a knot. It can be a really simple knot. Again, that's something I can go back later and kind of fix. I can kind of hide it too. So I ended on under over, so I need to technically be underneath this one, my original one, and I need to start going over. Um, actually, just kidding. See, the best thing about weaving, one of the best things is you can undo anything that you do. I forgot we're doing basket weave. So if I need to go um, under, over, under, I need to actually go under two, over two, under two, over two. So I'm going to go under the first two strings, over the next two strings, under the next two strings. So this is gonna change the look of my weave. We're gonna go from a more traditional weave to a basket weave, which is still traditional in a lot of um, in our culture, okay? So I just went under two, so I'm gonna go over the next two, under the next two, over, and then under. Be careful when you're pulling your string out that you don't hurt your fingers, or pulling your needle out, excuse me. We're gonna pull it nice and taut, but not too tight. And again, I ended on two unders, so I need to go two overs getting all tangled over here so over two under two over two under two and I end on an odd that's okay this this warp the one I'm using it has 23 um, your guys this has 20 so it will not um, it'll be great for basket weaving it won't make a mistake so mine just does because it has an odd number of pegs so I'm just gonna go um, I'm just gonna wrap it around since I ended on an over and I'm going to, the next, this should be over here. So I'm gonna just fix this right here and go under here. So on the last, these two I went under. So I need to make sure I go over, under, over, under. And what's gonna start to be created since I'm on my second row of basket weaving is it's gonna create a basket weaving. So it's gonna have a very pronounced under and a very pronounced over because I'm going two, two and two and two. Under, over, under. Be careful not to skip um, a piece of your warp when you're doing this. Sometimes when you start to do different um, sketch, uh, different weavings, different knot manipulations, you can sometimes forget about things that you need to do. So over, under, over. Okay, so then this is over, and then I need to go under, over two, under two. Oop, don't pull too tight, remember? You can always pull the string back. Kind of keep the string down too. So I just went over, I have, on the previous row I went over two, so I need to do, I went under two, I need to go over two. So I need to go over, under. Yeah, I'm a 31-year-old teacher and I'm still saying the things out loud to myself. Over, under, over, under, okay. So I'm gonna continue to weave this, but I just want you guys to be able to see that it is a much different look. This look, you see very little um, of the, the warp here and it's a very tight, kind of almost like knitted, like a lot of you guys have said, 
but the basket weaving, it has a little bit of overlap happening. So you see the two, and then you see the two, and then you see the two. So it has a very nice basket weaving look, and you do see a lot more of the loom on this one, or excuse me, the warp on this one. So, um, but basket weaving is a nice option. It's two, 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 two. It's very easy to remember. Very similar to the original, just tabby plain weaving that we did. So that is basket weaving.